Hello everyone, Joel here, and welcome back to another playthrough, another episode of Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. So last we left off, we um, wasn't able to find any food for these poor, um, I don't know what to call them, villagers, <laughs> uh, because everything was already expired, rotten, and the only thing we found for them was seeds. So yeah, so that's the only thing we have for these guys. They're gonna have to try and just have the spirit to hold in and hold on and um you know live for another day. So yeah, so just bought those revives and now we're gonna go on to the next um area we have to go, lab 32. Um this guy gave us um the bike key and we have to make our way to the protodome so we can get back to our time to figure out more about Lavos. And I think I remember that with the when the bike is like a little mini game, so which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way over there to Lab uh, 32. But first, what's this? Oh, the sewer access. No, we'll come back there. That's to go to the southern part over there, but I don't know. Maybe I don't think it's important to go there right now. I don't think it progresses the story. I don't, I'm not, I'll leave that alone for now. Anyways, let's continue. Alright, another mid tonic. Nice, nice. Ooh, look at this bite. Oh my god, it's robots. Hold it right there. Hey, it's the man. <laughs> wow. Like, thanks for the intro, babe. Okay, well, I'm not your babe, first of all. The man. You low lives can call me Johnny. Okay, that sounds better than call you the man. Now listen up. Part of an old highway leads to these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike and don't chicken out, babe. I said I'm not your babe, Johnny. Do you know how to ride? No, I don't remember. So, let's see. Alright, listen up. The gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. Fast. Use the control pad to steer. Press the B button for a turbo boost. I'll give you three of them, but it takes a moment to recharge between boosts. Check your position at the bottom of the screen. Now show me what you've got, babe. Oh my god, John, you're pissing me off. Anyway, let's do this race, alright? <laughs> Let's do this race, so I can beat you and get to where I have to go. Come on. Oh yes, I remember this mini game. So fun. Uh, I miss old school JRPGs with mini games like this. I'm not a big fan of like all mini games, but there's a lot of like really fun ones. You know, um, Final Fantasy VII definitely. Oh my God, it has some great mini games in Gold Saucer. Miss that so much. <laughs> I uh, might have to do that one. Maybe that one might be my next playthrough. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But come on. Come on. We almost... We almost beat Johnny. Oh. Damn, he won. So mad. I didn't boost at the right moment. <laughs> You're worthless. What? Give it up and go home. No. Ah, oh, what losers? You can walk your way across, but that monsters... That's Monster City. Ride again if you think you can handle it, chump. So, oh, I'll bet. I'm definitely gonna ride again. Ride again. Ride this bike. And we are going to win. <laughs> now, this time I know when you're close to the goal, then use the boost. This race is a little bit tricky. <laughs> it's not a normal race. It's not your regular, it's not your regular racing. Just gotta like try to avoid him, don't bump into him because well let don't let him bump into you because um we give him a boost. Alright, almost boost. Yeah there we go, I won. Huh <laughs> look at this game, oh my god, it's so nice, the scenery in the background, so beautiful. Uh 
I feel like this game has aged well. <laughs> but then again, I'm not really like care about much about graphics. As long as the game is that good, then that's all that matters. You beat me? I don't get it. You can challenge me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. <laughs> yeah. Johnny, I'll, I'll pass. We're here. But as long as the game is great, that's all that matters. But the only RPGs I don't think I'll ever play is anything that's really, really old. Like anything at NES and back. <laughs> but Super Nintendo and above, it's fine with me. Alright, so let's save, and then here we are at the Proto Dome. And of course, there's enemies in here. So let's take them out. Let's take out the buggers. <laughs> the buggers. Only 13, come on. I gotta do better than that. Yeah, we won. A nice level up, Luca. Oh my god, so many of these damn robots. I think it's about time we use Cyclone. Ooh, all three of them, nice. Which is all four, but three is good. Oh, look at that. Three gone in only a couple of seconds. Right, now we can continue on without no more interruptions. Let's use the Enatron. Yes, yes, I know. We're still hungry. We'll find food. Eventually, once we get back to our time. And here he is. His Robo. W what's this? It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible. Yeah, incredible. Incredible. I think I can fix it. What? It might attack us. I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. Humans make them that way. Yeah, that is true. Humans are responsible for a lot of things. <laughs> Luke, you pity them, don't you? Let me get to work now, okay? Yeah, leave her alone. Let her do what she has to do. Fix up the robot. And bring it back to life. So we'll just hang out around here. The door won't budge. Okay, that was just random. <laughs> right, that does it. I'm going to give her some juice. <laughs> good morning more good morning mistress what is your command I'm not your mistress I'm Marley and this is Chrono and Luca here fixed you understood madam Luca fix me just Luca will do. Impossible. That would be rude. <laughs> Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Molly? Hate him. Yeah, she definitely does. <laughs> I understand, Luca. Alright, now what's your name? Name? Ah, my serial number is... It is R66-Y. Okay. Cool. No, that won't do at all. Yeah, that definitely won't. Come on, Chrono, let's give him a better name. Uh, I'll leave his name by default, which is Robo. That's good enough. Robo? Robo, that's perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? I am Robo. Data storage complete. Hey, Robo, why aren't there any people here?
What? What has happened here? Are you just not noticed? There were many pe there were many humans out and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. Well, yeah, didn't we look at that thing earlier? <laughs> what Labos did? It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? We came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring Arya's dome, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chambers is locked, so we're out of luck. Yeah, once we get through that door, we can go. We can get out of here. The power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate this dome's generator. You do that for us? You repaired me, now it's my turn to help you. Aw, oh, you're so nice. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. Then Marley or I will stay. Yeah, Luca, you're staying because <laughs> you're useless at this point. So Marley, you're staying with me, and Luca, you can um stay here. Right, I'll handle things here. Okay, let's go. Alright, we are here at the factory, but first, let's see, okay, he has no element, okay, so his defense is really good, not bad, not bad, and uh, what's over here, is there anything over here? No, uh, could have sworn there was, but I guess not, I guess I'm mixing it up with that place, that whatever it's called, Snow Peak or something, that was on the bottom, on the so southern continent, last I remember when I played this. On a DS. Anyways, here we are at the factory. Override security system. Oh god. I hate these enemies. Alright, so what is this one weak against now? Damn. So, I guess magic would have been good with him, for him, but... Yeah, I'm not going back for Lucas, so... We're just gonna have to do what we can do. see what this does. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess is I guess we don't need magic then. Oh, a new dual tech move. Nice. I don't remember much about this factory, but it's a little bit this is a little bit long. I mean, it just depends on if you know what you have to do, and I kind of don't remember. <laughs> so we'll figure this out together. But it shouldn't be that difficult. But I do remember this. Remember this factory. Ooh, a Robin bow. Okay. Hey, right, nice. So so weird that you get a lot of weapons for her, but nothing for Luca. <laughs> I don't think I've got anything for Luke yet. All I have to do is I only bought, but it's not picking up anything. But Marley, oh my god. So many different like bows you get for my character. You get so many things. I guess a Robo probably will get a lot of things too. It's just Luca. This game didn't doesn't like her. Okay, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay. Ooh, a save point. Alright, don't mind if I do. Save. Alright. Let's get this. One shelter, nice. Uh, I don't see anything to do in here. Don't want to fight them. <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid. 
But I don't think there's anything to do in there. Alright. Oh, you can go down. Alright, let's go back down. Some more floors in the bottom. Oh, there's a red la okay. Red laser, so we can't progress this way. Um, let's go down. Trying to remember. <laughs> Just bear with me. I know it's been a while doing this this level. This little dungeon. Alright, so it's definitely something back upstairs. And I feel like I we have to fight those enemies probably. So let's go back upstairs and check check out what we ha where we have to do next. Alright, let's do this fight. I don't know what the green ones are weak against, but who cares? <laughs> we don't have any magic, so we're just gonna do what we can. Oh yeah, I forgot he, uh, Robo, he has a um, healing move as well. Alright, one down. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. And Molly leveled up. Oh yeah, so that's what you have to do to activate it. Uh, I really hate that sometimes. <laughs> JRPGs. And nope, you can't do this. Can't activate this until you fight these enemies. Sometimes it's so like tedious, but it's fine. It's only one of the minor issues with this game I have. Other than that, it's a great game. Can't complain. Oh, another dual tech move. I think it's a dual tech move. Or was it a move for Robo on it? Skipped it too quick. Ooh. Only six. Come on. Well, at least these things don't have much HP, so it's fine. Their defense is just crazy high <laughs> for us to be taking away fours and fives. These things are really annoying, oh my god. Oh yeah, so rocket punch. I mean laser spin. Is that the moon move or the Zero? Are you serious? Well, at least we know he has a all like all enemies attack, so definitely come in handy to take out multiple enemies quick. Ooh, <laughs> critical only 14. Oh my God, these things are these things are annoying. All right, let's take these guys out so we can continue. Don't even know I'm trying laser spin again. <laughs> Let's see if it does something this time. Oh wow. So only the green one it hurts. Are you serious? That's crazy, only ones and twos. <laughs> Imagine fighting a boss with a lot of HP and you take away that much damage. You're gonna be fighting forever. Let's get this chest. Ooh, a time vest, nice. Let's see. Alright, it's for Chrono. Ooh, beautiful. My defense is so good now. 
this is heal you, and that's it. Oh, a hammer arm, okay. So we got a new weapon for Robo. All systems down, defense lasers are off. All right, perfect. So now we can progress with those red lasers we saw earlier. Quickly finish this battle. It's taking so long because uh, it doesn't really take away anything. Ooh, critical hit. Good, finally. That took long. And Chrono level up. Alright, so now let's continue. Without no more distractions, I'm hoping, with those. Oh, those things are called <laughs> those slimes. Okay, we can go that way now, and then we can go this way. Oh wow, the same place. <laughs> All right, let's go back. go back and save because this might be a little bit long because I'm not ch too familiar with this place so I gotta remember how to, what to do to progress so we're just gonna save right here but first let's uh, use a shelter and here we go so you can save organize good save and that's it for this episode so thank you guys for watching my um, episode of Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo and it's been Joel. Like, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all for another another playthrough. Take care.